I think uh, one major reason why uh, we have fewer young parliamentarians is number one is resources. See, they have no resources to to compete or to vie for political position. Then second, I think uh, where we are coming from, there's been a lot of marginalization. In terms of a youth who's a, who's a female, male, and a disabled youth, there's, a, there's been a lot of marginalization. It's been a very big disadvantage because uh, the big people with resources, um, they are not ready to leave these political offices. They are not ready to give chance to the young ones. Uh, they have no spirit of nurturing. They have no spirit of trying to prepare young ones to take up these positions. That is where the big challenge is. And again, there are situations like, uh, for lack of a better term, maybe let me use, when they expire, they, um, they cannot be voted anymore. Again, they will be there to lobby so that they can go in the foreign mission. Just trying ways of trying to reduce opportunities or block young people going in such positions. Uh, social media will provide information for young people, will inform young people. Uh, they will share a lot of ideas, they will learn from each other. Uh, there will be peer exchange. I think here, the big question even today, why we are trying to bring young people, we are trying to hold such forums of young people. Uh, I think uh, we have no inclusive and peaceful societies. We are trying to achieve, we are trying to have Peaceful societies. How do you have peaceful societies? It's to include young people because all these decisions that are made uh, by, by, by the elderly, they, are, they affect the young ones because the young ones are the leaders today. Now, if the elders um, have no spirit of preparing the, the young ones to take up leadership, what is going tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to be what? I think uh, it's time for the elderly. We are, not saying, we are not saying the elderly should move, then the young people take over. No, definitely that cannot work out again. We will not achieve uh, peaceful societies. We want to work with the elderly so that there is inclusiveness. So that uh, on that decision-making table, where they are trying to bring solutions to the issues that affect the young ones, a young person must be there because they are the one feeling they are that pinch of salt. Women must be there. To, 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 to contribute to their own issues. The disabled must be there to contribute to their, their, their issues. Then we are going to achieve inclusiveness and peaceful societies. <laughs>